Representative Wagenius, thanks for joining us today. My first question is if you can tell us a little bit about yourself and your district. Well, let's start with my district. I represent parts of uh, the very southern part of Minneapolis and four precincts in Richfield, which are about a quarter of Richfield. So that is my district. Uh, we are around the airport, so we're on the northern side of the airport and on the western side of the airport. So airport issues are, have always been important for this district. Uh, I uh, am a mom of two and a grandma of three. Just had a uh, new member of the family join us uh, in November. So my background before I was uh, elected, I was a staff attorney for the Minnesota Court of Appeals. What are your top legislative priorities? Well, when you have some seniority, uh, you are, uh, have the responsibility of chairing a committee. And the committee I chair right now is Environment, Natural Resources, and Agriculture Finance. So my priorities, of course, are to have a budget uh, that is workable for all of the interests in that area. And that's what we did last year, uh, is pass a budget that was workable, and not only workable, uh, but that moved forward a number of issues that are important to Minnesotans. Uh, and one of the things we concentrated on was uh, our water resources, particularly groundwater, which is the drinking water source for 75 percent of Minnesotans. And we were seeing limitations that had never been discussed before. So that's one of the places we concentrated some of our efforts. What legislation have you worked on in the past that you are most proud of? One of the first things I did uh, as a legislator before I knew it was impossible to do uh, is I took on uh, the battery industry, which had uh, mercury in each of its batteries, just the common alkaline batteries. And then at that time, there were batteries that were almost like two-thirds mercury. They're heavy, and you could just tell that they were a mercury battery. And the industry was relying on mercury as one of its components. Just a tiny bit in each battery, but because there are so many batteries, uh, we had a lot of mercury. And of course, they would go to incinerators, get up in the air, and come into our waters. And so one of the very biggest initiatives I did when I was an early legislator was literally get rid of mercury out of batteries. So we had one step of phase out, and the second step was, you can't have it anymore. And uh, that was a hard, hard bill to pass. Uh, the industry said to me at one point, well, you know, you are a Minnesotan. You only consume 2% of the batteries. So we just won't sell batteries in Minnesota if you do this. That was scary. <laughs> I remember thinking, oh my gosh. But we went ahead, and within months after we passed the legislation, they were advertising batter, uh, mercury-free batteries. So, so that's one of my favorites. My other favorite was uh, with uh, then Senator Jane Ranham. She's now a judge. Uh, and I worked on getting the first state dollars for all-day kindergarten. And it has taken us a long time to fully fund that, and that's what we did this year. And I was super pleased with that. Why did you initially decide to run for office as a representative? Well, some folks in my neighborhood asked me to do it. And I actually was working for the Court of Appeals, could not be politically involved because I had to be uh, not partisan at that point. Uh, but there was an open seat, and some of the people in my district, mainly women, came to me and said, you know, we have not had a woman representative. There are very few women in the legislature. We'd like you to run. And they promised me at the time that if I would run, uh, they would give, uh, organize and make dinner for my family every night of the week. And I said, nah, but if you will be my campaign manager, I'll do it. So that's what happened. What do you see as the biggest challenge the state will face in the next 10 years? Education and making sure all of our students are educated up to their best potential 
is probably the biggest challenge, uh, but it's not the, certainly not the only one, but I would say that's the biggest one.